Hey guys, welcome back to another video here. Um, this is going to be a good one today. Uh, there's not much I'm saying that hasn't already been said on this channel. I I'm just going to go over and reiterate things. And I'm going to try and, I'm going to talk to you about a couple of the positions I moved around today. Um, and I'm also going to talk to you guys about how negative and positive gamatory territory specifically affects the stock. Okay? And to get into this right here, um, I went over how I said in one of my other videos how Marathon Digital um, was trading below the gamma flip line and MicroStrategies was uh, trading above the gamma flip line um, and how selling leads into selling and buying leads into buying. This is the thing that is happening with, with MicroStrategies right now. As it goes up and as it is in positive gamma buy territory, it is bringing up the, the magnet of option flow with it. And so the point I'm trying to make is that when stocks are high, because there's a lot of option premium that has been bought in the money is now in profit um, two things have to happen the stock is only going to go up if there's a lot of energy in it and anytime there's a lot of energy people want to sell premium so as they lose the shares that they sold down here they want to sell them again up here which just means that they have to put more money back in the system to get their insurance premium as they lose the shares that they sold sure they got the options premium uh, but then they have, if they want to resell the, the, the premium again, which is what you want to do, you always want to exist in the system that's derived your time every single time. But when you're, you're trying to do something unique, you need to know when you're not trying to sell your time and you're actually trying to buy time because there's a steep rate exchange coming. Anytime periods of consolidation, you sell time. Anytime there's going to be a directional flow, you, you, uh, you buy your time, right? You, you buy the leverage, you buy the DX derivative, right? Um, and so at the expense of time. So because MicroStrategies is in positive buy territory, all these option flow is, is they're coming to these expiry dates and people are just adding them. The thing is, is every person who's making this, this new sum of money, every person that's like, oh, I just made hundreds of thousands of dollars in MicroStrategies, I actually know what's going on. They are just dumping all their money back into MicroStrategies. That's exactly what I'm doing. I mean, every time MicroStrategies goes up, MSTU goes up, MSTU options, right? There's people buying MicroStrategies options, and then there's people buying the MSTX and MSTU options. That's better, right? As a hunter, right? Um, and so as this is going up and people are getting rewarded with their money, they're just flowing it back into further out of the money options that people would love to sell because you're, you're paying an expensive premium, but you don't really care what the expensive premium is because you just think there's going to be more energy in the system. And the reason this is all happening is because the MSTU just started existing, MSTX just started existing. This, you just look at it on, on a chart, it has went straight up since these things exi have existed. And it's going to continue to go straight up because these things exist. And I, I'm and I'm going to get to that here um, in this video uh, as this loads up, but just insane days, up 17%. Even Marathon Digital recovered very, very nicely after that horrific day, traded it all out, and then it's right back to where it was, back up 13%. It, it's, it's crazy how it works, and, and Bitcoin hasn't even really broken out yet. Um, breakouts at 93500 we're, we're 500 bucks off. It, it, it's going to. Uh, most likely today you don't see these stocks running in anticipation unless they're going to but look at micro strategies right from this off this bounce off this 200 moving average it has went straight up and when did mstx which was the first one that got created was back here on um august 15th so you go back to august 15th um Right here, it, it started to go flat, had it up, it retraced, hit the 200, and then straight up from there. Once the order flow came in, the money flow came in, that's where it's heading. And so if you just kind of look at this on, on this time graph, right? Bitcoin is back here, and it is sucking in everyone else's time, right? It, it, it's storing the time that people need to use this. But out here in the future, along this DT graph that stretches this way, um, micro strategies is taking the derivative of time. This is what MSTR is doing. And then slightly over here, which is sure it's losing some time in the time decay, it is getting a DX leverage. This is what MSTU is doing. Um, I know it's very, very confusing if you don't even understand what derivatives or calculus is, um, and I'm sorry for that, but Bitcoin is just getting futurely forecasted through MSTR, and everybody sees this, 
and then so all they want to ever do is is own this right it, they want to own leverage on top of leverage that's what you do um and then you want to buy the options on it now sure the options can get riskier because you, you do have a specific time period but people love options they, they just love those those high premium derivatives and then everyone loves selling them but they're going up so much that people want to buy them too uh it, it, it's really feeding into this cataclysmic event and it's going to keep micro strategies alive it's going to allow them to do these debt offerings because everyone's going to want to still leverage this two times leverage which is going to force more people to buy mstr it's going to get them to the point where they get added to the indices and then the indices are just going to keep them afloat with passive buy flows because the point of the stock market is supply and demand influxes right there's no one ever who wants to sell micro strategies other than to raise capital by bitcoin the only person selling you the micro strategies is michael saylor encapsulating your volatility to bring you up right he is just he's scooping you off the top and he's lifting you up because he's buying the best asset to store your money he's doing you the best favor and so um even if you're trading at these bad reaction times he's selling it back to you he, he's saving you so it doesn't matter what price point this 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 trades at um until bitcoin reaches its frame or the MNAV reaches a frame, and, and the MNAV has the 100% profit margin on a 25%, 30% Carger asset. And then it, it is basically all that. So, I mean, 10, 20, 30 MNAV, 40 MNAV, um, these are rational numbers. And that would mean it would be tr moving 40% per Bitcoin's 1%, which, which doesn't really conceptualize it. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that volatile but the net premium that, that Bitcoin and, and MicroStrategy should make up could be very, very high. It might have a market cap and only own 30, 20, 10, 5 percent of their market cap in Bitcoin as they start generating these revenue streams, these Bitcoin yields, and just have the best, something that nobody ever wants to sell. Um, it, it's very crazy. It's going to continue to go up. Uh, and, and you're not going to be able to get in on these dips because other than a little 20, 10 percent rugger, um, when it really influx off a 10, 20 percent, 30 percent up days, you're, you're, you're just you're adding volatility to the system. It is this thing is specifically moving up and it's not ever going to move down because the positive gamma territory is not going anywhere. All this money that is suck is getting sucked up because the buyers have to buy more shares to then sell more options because they're losing their options, right? Instead of they retain their shares and they want to sell more out of the money call options. That, that's just positive and negative uh, buy flow based off of options because the options, they don't affect the price, but they do. They affect the person who, who's, who's trying to trade off that price. And so uh, you're going to remain in positive gamma territory um, for the indefinite future. And the flow in is just going to supersede everything else. So um, in terms of which ones did I specifically get um, this morning when Marathon Digital opened at – Eighteen thirty dollars. Um, I scoop some January seventeenth up. Okay, I scoop some January seventeenth twenty dollars. I paid three bucks for them. They're already up. So I got twenty on there. Already up two k. Uh, I couldn't get any MSTX or MSTU. What did I do with my SMCI? I sold weeklies. I sold a thirty one and a thirty three dollar. I think I got a buck twenty five and a buck eighty. So um, nice premiums there. I have a third one that I could sell. So I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. See if it gaps and goes. Maybe sell 35 if I can. Um, and then I picked up two DJTs. I like this breakout a lot. I bought Jan I only bought two of them. I bought $30 strikes uh, January 17th. They're about $6.50 I paid for them. I like this breakout. Um, I like the low volume, but kind of recover it at a support line. Um, it's going to run in towards Trump coming into office, especially with this Bitcoin bank thing. So I'm willing to risk 1200 bucks there. I think it's a good risk to reward. Um, and I love the double on Marathon Digital. Uh, Fake bounce, fake bounce, fake bounce. This is just steeper and steeper. Volatility is increasing. Look for this Bitcoin breakout um, that is going to be happening very, very soon. Um, as it, yeah, right now, um, as it gets above 93,500, your next stop is 100K. Leverage is coming on. And look at MicroStrategy. You think MicroStrategy is this high right now? MicroStrategy is at $85 billion market cap. This company is the number one company in the world because it owns the most of the best asset. So that would be four trillion dollars. Yeah, you you were forty x, fifty x, sixty x off where this stock should be. Forty to sixty times four hundred and twenty. It's ridiculous numbers, and then times that by two when you have the MSTU, MSTX. 
and you look at how much money is actually flowing into these these MSTU and MSTXs, assets under management 2.32 billion above 200 now MSTX up at 137. Where's this at? 1.5 billion. He's got four billion dollars worth of leverage, and I guarantee you the leverage is just adding in. Every dollar that goes in here forces two to three times multiple of dollars to be bought in MSTR because that's how the options contracts work. It's just it is what it is. So. Um, this is insane guys and it's insane because we're so early like to understand you could be deleveraging oh it's went up a lot it's went up a lot what am I comparing it to you have to have the reason why we apply units to our numbers is so that we can rationalize what we're talking about and and people try and put numbers which are, are, is on in a monetary system that's just it, it can go to infinity, right? You can go up at any point. You can add new reactions to the system. Supply and demand can very easily change um, as new components come into the system. You're trying to rationalize these numbers. Like somebody so stupid is out here. They just changed their price target to 450. It's about to hit 450 the day they changed it. Like what, what changed in the one day? Nothing. It's just where the price is trading at because that's where the margin is. And then you have to rationalize the numbers. So uh, the price targets are just going to start chopping up and then somebody's going to get left behind here down at 212 and then they're going to have to scoop one up they're going to change it from 200 to 400 and then boom schmook you got a lot of buyers coming in again so look at the order flow um slightly in anything in up here is, is great because it, it resembles the fact that the funds are still buying this stock uh because they have to um it, it it's i mean it's a 4xer from from down here it has 4x since september it's in november People are starting, this is the understanding picking up, and the understanding is just getting going. Uh, Bitcoin is just getting going. This is the beginning, guys. You think, you think, oh, 90K, 100K resistance. People don't even understand about it yet. Stop trying to rationalize irrational numbers. You, it's not going to be, it's not a recipe for success.